Hi students my name is Ruchika I welcome you to the English Academy Vistas name of the chapter Should Wizard Hit Mommy by John Updike I'll tell you about the author summary difficult words from the chapter and important questions John Hoyer Updike was an American novelist, poet, short story writer, art critic and literary critic. His book Rabbit is Rich won the Pulitzer Prize in 1982 and Rabbit at Rest won the prize in 1990. Summary In this lesson the author conveys a very important message for both the parents and children. It addresses the issue of difference of attitude towards life which erupts from the way in which they perceive each other everyone is right in his own approach a child has a limited perception of life her surrounding is limited up to her parents teachers and friends whereas the parents have a wider perception of life and consider many issues while interacting with his child Children often misinterpret their parents' attitude and behavior and that is when the parents become strict with them. This weakens the bonding between them. Parents being elders should understand the feeling of their children, share them and mold them with love. This is a story of a 4-year-old girl, Joan, whose nickname is Jo, and her father Jack. who follow a story telling custom every evening and for their saturday naps so the stories which jack tells jo are variations of the basic tale where a small creature named roger whose last name varies has a problem for which the wise owl sends him to the wizard who solves his problem with his magical powers these stories have now become useless as jo no longer falls asleep listening to them and her father finds this routine to be very tiring they have been following this routine when she was 2 years old and now she is 4 years old and so probably she is got bored of this routine the same stories the same character roger is repeated every day and so now the stories have become ineffective on this particular saturday in the story jack remembers his childhood experiences and roger is turned into a skunk that smelled foul jo is very curious and knows that as usual roger will go to the owl and in her curiosity she interrupts her father who gets disturbed by the child's attitude of taking things for granted he just wants to put her off to sleep and gets annoyed by her interrupting questions He is not concerned about the child's curiosity, her inquisitiveness. He fails to create a bond with his child. He does not like the nature that his daughter is trying to take things for granted. As usual, the skunk's bad smell is cured by the wizard, and now the happy skunk has friends with whom he plays various games and then run home to their mommies. At this happy moment, The story usually ends and so Jo assumes it to have ended. But Jack does not like her to assume things. He does not want her to take things for granted. He does not like women who take things for granted. Rather, he wants her to wait for him to say that the story is over. He continues the story and to Jo's disappointment, the skunk's mother takes him back to the wizard. as she is disappointed that the wizard has changed his smell she wants him to get his own original smell back so she hits the wizard on the head and forces him to give little skunk his original smell back and she wants that that is the way a skunk should smell little girl jo does not want the story to end like this and so she is sad for the little skunk her father wants her to realize that pleasing friends is not so important that a person must change himself he wants 
children must learn to accept their parents decisions as being the best for them jo is adamant and wants her father to tell her a new story the next day in which the visit should hit the mommy over the head in return but her father tells her that it is not the way the story goes because the skunk loves his mommy more than the other little animals and she knows what is right for the little skunk difficult words from the chapter naps means short afternoon sleep variation means difference wizard is a man who has magical powers supper is an evening meal which is light and informal fatiguing means tiring right is a practice futile means useless sifting is scattered relapsed means returned to curtly means briefly swamp is an area of low lying ground filled with water clenched means squeezed together infantile means childish rumi means watery rummaged means to search unsystematically smugly is a way of speaking showing satisfaction and confidence feigning means to pretend important questions from the chapter what is the moral issue that the story raises the answer is the story raises the moral issue of parents approach towards their children there is a conflict that whether children should be encouraged to put forward their views and ideas to reason and to question or be forced to remain in the shadow of their parents influence and thoughts jo questions her father as to the way to end stinky skunk's story which comes as a shock to her father he does not appreciate her thoughts the next question is what makes jack feel caught in an ugly middle position the answer is jack is caught in a conflict between his own upbringing and the way in which he must interact with his child he has been an obedient child giving in to his parents wishes considering them to be the best for him and enforces this system upon his daughter also he gets caught when he sees that the child had her own views and ideas and does not give in to his views this disturbs him thank you and do subscribe to english academy